How's it going, ladies? I'm working on a new video, especially for y'all. And this time of year, and our Valentine's, and our Valentine's Day is coming up tomorrow. Well, it should be today, because the video, the video will be out today. And all my fellas, if you wanna do something special for your lady at home, because it's the thought that counts, you know? You can make the gift yourself. Anyway, so today I'm working on a Valentine's Day special. What inspired this was a long time ago, I had to be about 13 or something like that, maybe 12, and I tasted this chocolate. You know, when you get those chocolates of Valentine's Day or just a box of chocolates for birthdays or whatever. I don't remember what occasion it was, but it was a chocolate in the box. And I opened it up and I tasted one. I think my mom got it or my grandmother got it. And I tasted the chocolate. It was it was like a little rectangle box and it had yellow lines on top. When I bit into it, it was lemon in the inside. It was a dark chocolate lemon inside of that box. Now, every time you get them every year, it'd be different flavors. It's never the same type or the same flavors. There's always a mystery of what's inside of those boxes. So I've never been able to find that dark chocolate lemon again. And I figured I'm not about to waste the time or the money or the fat on the side of my body trying to find the dark chocolate lemon. <laughs> So I figured maybe I should try to make it myself as well as turn it into a cake. So for my next cake video, I'm going to be doing a dark chocolate lemon in favor of those chocolate boxes that you get for Valentine's Day or birthdays and things like that. But first, make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Like food. Innocent incantation number ninety four. Yeah. Mm -hmm, baby. Take it out of you Treat me like that You 
going on my boat. gifts usually reach that special place in your heart. When somebody just brings you something that they put their blood, sweat, and tears in and make it for you personally, it creates a sentimental value, which boosts how much it means to you. I like how it came out. It came out well for my first time. I studied, I watched a bunch of videos, and I practiced. Now let's see how everything tastes. Now look at this. I was even able to make my logo. What? So this is just white chocolate, melted with some green food coloring I mixed green and yellow oh, <laughs> oh I put too much weight on it one of the beads came off mm-hmm this dark chocolate is good it's good though I can even eat it like that pull the beads out that's sweet I got these cookies now what I used was I made a chocolate dough I was trying that out because I wanted to get strawberries to dip and do a bunch of dip and drizzle and stuff, but none of the stores around me had strawberries. It was like the fruit I was, was cleaned all the way out. So I used some cookies and took the chocolate dough and rolled it out, put it on, set it in the refrigerator for you know 15 minutes. It came back out and I was just it's still soft and chewable. It still tastes like chocolate. It's good. Drop the almonds in this, spray some gold and silver on it, came out nice. Well, let's try this cake. Oh yeah. I'm I wanna break it. I work so hard on this. I study so much. Talk the tear stuff. Hmm. Cut it. I'll just cut a little piece off the tip. Oh, it's hard, <laughs> of course. Stay moist. 
with the lemon icing in the middle. It's just beautiful. I take some more pictures. I don't want to break it up or cut it too much and eat it. So, I got chocolate everywhere. <laughs> Make sure you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, find me on Facebook, and Make sure you check out the merchandise page. Thank you. See you next time on Rock Kitchen.